Alright, what's up guys? It's Tutorial Countdown is back with another video and so today is going to be a video on remnants. I'm going to be showing you my build, my pers personal preferences. So yeah, let's just get straight into it and I will be going into this boss fight to show you the build. The boss is going to be Shroud. But this is what I like to run. The hunting pistol with the beckon mod crossbow with the swarm mod because swarm does a good amount of damage along with the critical hits and also corrosive makes it so enemies defense is lowered i'm running a scythe you can run any melee just this was the most convenient easiest upgrade <laughs> then the slayer suit so if you don't know what it does after you reload your next shot does 35 percent more damage with the full set Heart Seeker provides 100% critical chance against non-aggressive enemies and increases critical damage by 15%. Stone of Balance increases range and melee damage. And Brutal Mark deal 15% extra damage when enemies have less than 50% of health. And now if you look to the left side you can see my stats. How much everything's doing my crit hit bonus 20% critical hit damage 115% melee damage 10 and Range damage bonus 31% which is huge and Then my stamina is 150 health 150 stam regen 58 <coughs> All right, so let's get into the traits. I'm running max endurance max vigor max quick hands max glutton max recovery five points in the elder knowledge you don't have to buy it's like the little bit of xp boost 20 points in the catalyst max spirit max executioner max kingslayer max or not max yet but i'm working on it exploiter in mind's eye exploiter is weak spot damage mind's eye is range damage executioner critical hit chance and critical hit damage for Kingslayer. Catalyst is proc chance, spirits, mod generation power, glutton's consumable speed, recovery, stam, regen delay, and vigor is health, endurance is stam, quick hands is reload speed. So yeah, that's about it for the build. And then we're gonna get right into the boss fight. <coughs> so our boss is gonna be Shroud. Now this is my first time on Nightmare, so bear with me if I do bad. I know the bosses will do way more damage and have way more health. That's what this build is for, see how much damage this is for. Whoa, that was too far. I'm dead. Well then, I didn't expect the enemies to spawn that close to me. That was quite the predicament, but you know. That's, that's what this is here for. My gear is not maxed out, so I don't really take much damage. So, let's give this another go around. This time, let me actually play it the right way and get some distance on them. This is not good. I do not want to fall down here. This is a bad place to be. I'm trying to work my way. 
way back around up top. Pop out our skull, get that extra damage out. Critical on that'd be nice. There we go. to hit my shot that'd be amazing. So bear with me guys. <laughs> the greatest aim <laughs> but yeah it gets the job done as you can see the damage is pretty consistent and it does a lot for critical hits if you can manage to get the double critical bonus now if you do run the devouring loop you have a 300% critical boost if you can manage to get that 5% hit in which does around 8k damage per critical it's insane but they nerfed it recently, so it's not the greatest in the game anymore, so... Yeah. Once again, this is the build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at SlimBOE. And follow me on Twitter at CautiousGaming4. Yeah. 